What are some of the initiatives that the Hong Kong Science Park is actively undertaking to help develop Hong Kong into a world-class smart city and that also ensures it stays competitive, sustainable and livable? Well, um, the Science Park is a, um, is a 22 hectares of land with about 13,000 people working there. So we want to transform that into a test bed, a smart region. Um, all the things that the smart, camp, smart, re, uh, smart city blueprint, we will try to test there, including smart people, smart living, smart mobility. Um, so we'll be testing like things like uh, 5G, um, cashless payment, robotic ice cream machine, all these things. So we want to show the world that you can, you can try new things in the science park before you actually do it in central or, or somewhere in, in, in Hong Kong. So that's the kind of initiative we want to do in Hong Kong, in the science park. Yeah. In your opinion, what are the key challenges that Hong Kong startups are still facing and what can organizations do to encourage innovation and entrepreneurship? For startups, especially the technology startups, they're always facing three problems. Um, access to talent, access to market, and access to, to investment money. These are the, always the three things, talent, market, and investment. So um, we are helping them with uh, recruiting talents or connecting them with the uh, experts, um, even uh, with the talent schemes for the government. Um, in terms of uh, market, this is very difficult, very important, especially for a startup. So we try to connect them with the application, with the industry, uh, with big companies, small companies, let them try their, their products, and even in the smart region where they can test the new, new technology. So that's the access to market. The third one is access to, 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 to investment. Um, we do a lot of investors' event. We have a team that help them bring in VC investments or even connect with the big investors um, because the investors are the best differentiator for the future development. So these are the three areas and uh, the challenges are always there and uh, we help them as much as possible.